Boreda, good morning on this Tuesday, July the 7th, Daily Devotion. At the start of lockdown, way back in March, I remember very clearly going to my local supermarket and finding some shelves completely empty, and yet others were full. After a while, I noticed there was a pattern. Nearly all the non-perishable foods, that is foods that would keep for a long time, had all gone. Foods such as dried pasta, rice and tinned foods. And yet there were loads of perishable foods still available. Foods such as fresh fruit and veg. You see, people were concerned that there was going to be a food shortage. And therefore, most people were buying food that would last. But how long do perishable and non-perishable foods actually last? Well, dried pasta lasts around about two years, although if it's stored well, it could last a little longer. After a few years, it'll start to break down. Fruit, on the other hand, well, this apple here, well, this won't be very nice in a few weeks, but will actually be completely rotten in around about four months. And so the dried pasta over there looks at this apple and laughs. The pasta will last years. The apple at most only a few months. But the idea of something being perishable, not lasting long, the idea of decay is quite interesting. You see, our life expectancy is generally around 80 years. And so we look at this bag of pasta and we can see ourselves as being non-perishable, whereas the pasta is perishable. The pasta's lifespan, as it were, is just a few years. Ours hopefully will be maybe 80, maybe 90, maybe 100 years. And we feel good about ourselves. We're long lasting. We're non-perishable. But what about things like the many tools in my workshop? Now, consider this very simple tool, the metal ruler. How long will this last? Well, if it's looked after, it will last for hundreds of years. And so this metal ruler, along with most of the tools in my workshop, look at me as being perishable. Long after my body has gone, they will still be going strong as long as they're looked after. These bodies of ours are perishable. In James 4.14, it says, What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Our life is compared to mist that lasts but a few seconds. Life is short, and we know this, especially at this time, when life seems so fragile. But are we more than these bodies of ours that are seen as mist in terms of how short they last? Well, the Bible says, yes, we are more than these bodies. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42, it says, so will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. This body will one day cease to be, but we will then be clothed in a body that cannot decay. It is not perishable. You see, that part of us that is us, our soul, is only clothed in this body for a time, but will one day be clothed in a body that is eternal, non-perishable, all because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. During this lockdown, I've been thinking a lot about time. In some ways, the days have felt so, so slow, and yet the weeks have just flown by. It's been 106 days of lockdown. Time is just constantly marching on. But the fact that this life is not the end completely changes things. In 2 Corinthians 4, 16, it says, Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. This life has many amazing things that God wants us to enjoy and experience. Yet this life is, well, it's not our home. Day by day, we come to God to strengthen us, renew us, to give us joy, hope, and peace for all that is to come. Yes, one day we will be clothed in a body that does not perish. But ultimately, the amazing thing that we are to look forward to is we will see Jesus face to face. Until that day, we are renewed, not once and that's it, but day by day, coming to God through his word and prayer every day 
And as we are surrounded by many things that will last hundreds of years in some cases, that is nothing compared to how long we will last. They are perishable. We are not. Let's think, therefore be encouraged. Let's be renewed inwardly by drawing closer to God. We have a great future because we have a great God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that we do have an amazing future because we have an amazing Saviour. We thank you for all the great things that you have given us for us to enjoy and to delight in because ultimately you are our delight. We thank you that you renew us day by day by giving us each day everything that we need because we focus on the one who is imperishable. During this time, we pray that you would help us during the difficult parts to draw our comfort from you, to draw closer to you through your word and through prayer. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a fantastic day dwelling on our amazing future because we have an amazing God.